Hello, everybody. It's been a freaking long time. It's been like about a month now since I have done one. Um, it's Big Time Reality TV, episode 19. I am Andrew Kirk. Unfortunately, i um, been talking with Tony for like the past 10, 15 minutes through text messaging on the phone. Um, it looks like he's having technical difficulties, so we're going to have to make this up. But I definitely want to do a show today because I haven't done one in over a month. And uh, I've been so busy, so busy. I got a second job, fortunately, which unfortunately is only temporary. But um, I've been working two jobs, going to school, on the school paper. So I haven't had time to do any like interviews or uh, I've been doing recap to a three hour radio podcast. Not, that's pretty much the gist of what I've been doing the past few weeks as far as uh, podcasting goes. So um, I, once again, once again, I do apologize to those guys. Um, I was definitely looking forward to this, but hey, th- things sometimes don't work out, you know. We'll definitely have to do this again next week, but guys, please tweet me. Please tweet me the hashtag. Um, I'll, I'll post it right now. If anybody, if anybody from the real world MTV family wants to join, I'm going to be on for about maybe about another 30, 40, 40 minutes. If any of you guys want to join, please tweet me and I'll tweet you. I'll, I'll, I'll direct message you the link. Cause I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, still going to do a show. I just unfortunately don't have Tony with me. Things didn't work out. It's all good though. Nothing against you, Rob. Nothing. No worries, Tony. We'll, we'll we'll get this going next week. Um, I know from the preview, there's something going on between you two, you and a uh, you and Madison. Um, so we'll definitely have to get into that. So let me go ahead and tweet out real quick. Hope you guys stay. Hope you guys stay in here because I definitely want to talk some real world, talk some challenge because we have had a lot go down in the past couple weeks. Uh, this real world, the real world skeletons, in my opinion, has been. I know we probably always. I know. I know people. I know we always say it. It's the best season, but honestly, since Vegas, it might even be a little better than Vegas. I've really enjoyed the season. It's. Definitely been a lot of fun to watch. Um, the whole skeletons twist is definitely is definitely entertaining. And uh, hold on one second, let me tweet this out real quick. I want you guys to tweet the hashtag Big Time Reality TV or Big Time Reality, and I will answer your questions regarding rural and challenge as far as my opinion goes. I got. I gotta say, I greatly, I greatly appreciate everybody who asked questions today. Uh, Everybody did a mar- remarkable job. So, yeah. Like I said, unfortunately, no, Tony. But I'm here, and I'm going to try to see if anybody wants to join in the next 30, 45 minutes. So let me send out another tweet real quick. Uh, at Taryn 
I turn Willicky. Uh, yes, I am going to reschedule. Um, probably to sometime next week. And maybe that's a good thing, too, because from what I remember seeing the preview for next week, Tony and Madison have a war of words or some, something like that. So, I mean, there's – as if there's not enough that I need to talk about with Tony Reigns, there's going to be more. <laughs> So, like I said, if anybody from MTV or podcast guests want to join me, just talk some challenge, talk some, talk some uh, real world. Uh, please retweet this tweet, and I will send you the link. But anyways, real world skeletons. Like, like I said, I feel like this is definitely such a such a great season. I mean, the one thing that it took it took me a minute to like understand what this twist really was. But the one thing I like about this twist is one week you have it focused on one person. You know how in every season of the real world. You know how in every season of the real world you always see, especially since uh, I want to say DC on. Let's go with real world DC on. We always see at least one or two show answers. But with this twist of the skeletons, you get to see them in their own element. I mean, first we saw Sylvia and her boss. Then last week, we, last two weeks, we saw Tony and, uh, Tony and the other girls. Um, last week we saw Tony, last two weeks we saw Tony and, uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth and Alyssa. And this week, it's Avilada and her two, and her two rival, Jessica and uh, Tia. Um, it definitely brings a new aspect. So anyways, let me, let me break some stuff down from what I have beef with. Um, as far as the whole fight goes last week, like I, like I tweeted at CCUA Kurt, please follow me if you aren't already. Um, I'm not going to place any judgment on what happened between... Sylvia Madison Violetta. Um, what Sylvia, what um, the whole fight, I mean, I think all three of them had some type of fault in it. But um, for me, do, for me watching these shows from an analytical standpoint now, as I do since I've been doing these podcasts for over, viewers, please stay, um, podcasts for over four years now. Um, I give until I get them on, like show, uh, like on this platform to be like, oh, what what happened here? What did we not see? I don't give them anything. Um, I I I don't give them any crap. I don't be like, oh, you're you're crazy. You're a bitch. You what you did was wrong. Um, I I don't I I don't I don't place judgment like some people do on social media. I mean, if you're one of those people that does that and tweets at uh, tweets them directly, be like, "Oh, you're crazy," or some some stuff like that. I mean, that's fine and everything. But um, as far as the fight goes, Violetta, obviously, from from me watching the episodes, um, I'm not saying how from what, from me personally speaking with her uh, last uh, last month. But for me watching that episode, she is a very good manipulator. And uh, we saw we saw uh, Tuesday night with Bruno, too. Um, she knows how to push people's buttons. And it's to the point where people like Madison and people like Bruno both snapped. So, I mean, is she wrong for trying to push people's buttons? No. I don't I, honestly I don't know because I'm I'm not there I'm not there in person, but um, I felt like she crossed the line a little bit. I mean she was trying to get in Madison's face. Madison, honestly, and I said this, I don't think Madison can hurt a fly. She seems like the nicest girl that's on the show. Yes, she's in my opinion a little bit clueless when it comes to some things regard regarding regarding the show regarding people around her, but. And I've said this on reality radio uh, quite a few times. There's some, there's something about her that's like, like have we seen this before? We have, and actually we haven't. It's definitely an interesting thing. It's. 
if you guys are just tuning in, um, like I said, we have to re unfortunately reschedule with Tony. Um, his computer wasn't working. And I know with Google Hangout, we could do the phone thing, but I have texted him, and he unfortunately hasn't texted me back. So no no big deal. But anyways, um, so yeah, I will definitely try, and it's going to be tough. To be honest with you guys, I wish I could do shows as much as I have done in the past, but with a second job for, I think, one more week, as well as being on the school paper, it's going to be really tough. So. I'm going to I'm going to keep trying though. I'm not giving up. I'm not I'm not it's not the end of these shows definitely isn't. It's only the beginning. I mean I, I got to be honest with you. I feel like the end is definitely near unfortunately. Um I'm going to be graduating in May. I'm going to hopefully have a full-time job somewhere. Hopefully doing something like this. I would definitely love to be doing interview interviews on uh, Google Hangout and hopefully getting paid for it. That'd be awesome. But um anyways, so yeah, the, the whole fight, I mean, I think all three of them had faults in it, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, Sylvia's reply, I gotta be honest, and Sylvia, I love you, you're my favorite on the show, but your reply was so half-assed. I mean, apology, excuse me. Your apology was so half-assed, and uh, I don't really get it. I really don't. But anyways, um, so yeah, these skeletons came in, and I was honestly, guys, and uh, please tweet me for the for, for the fifth time. I'm gonna shout on my Twitter at CCA Kirk. Uh, were you guys kind of disappointed in in how the scout the a lot of skeletons were? Because I mean, she hyped them up so freaking good, and they were just there for an episode. I mean, my guess is four days, three four days. Um, do I want all the skeletons to be crazy towards, towards the other roommates? No, I've said this on a uh, reality radio podcast. Um, follow them at reality radio pod. Um, that I was kind of pissed that, uh, people like, uh, Alicia, people like Elizabeth were disrespectful to the other roommates because, if I were to go in the house as a skeleton, I would, I wouldn't, I would be friendly with everybody else. If I had a personal issue with somebody, I'd, I'd solve it with them. I wouldn't try to, I wouldn't try to talk bad about them like Alicia did. I wouldn't try to order, order them around like Elizabeth did. But, um, these two, honestly, and, uh, These two honestly really didn't bring, unfortunately, didn't bring that much to the table. I mean, um, um, they they unfortunately didn't bring much to the table. I mean, it, maybe it was editing, maybe something really big did happen and it wasn't shown, but. I was kind of underwhelmed to be to tell you to tell you to tell you the honest truth. Um, Violet, Violetta hyped him so big, so so crazy from like episode two when she found when uh, her friend called her and be like, "Oh, two of my friends are supposed to be on the show living with us." And honestly, I really wasn't. It really wasn't that they didn't really bring much drama. I mean, it's is that bad? No. I honestly don't think it is, but um, yeah, I'm just I'm just, I'm just saying I was kind of underwhelmed with it. I'm sorry, and Je and uh, I just followed Jess yesterday, um, the blind skeleton, the one that VLI has the biggest issue with, and uh, I guess on Merch's show last night I haven't watched it yet, but Merch hey, Merch Jaffer, um, he does a show on Spreecast, my old network. Um, and I guess Jess goes with her. So, hey, I'm glad. I'm glad that the show is doing what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to mend relationships. I mean, obviously, it didn't work for uh, Morgan. Unfortunately, Tony can make it. It's just me. 
I can send you the link. You can do it on your phone or your iPad or whatever. But we can just talk because I definitely want to talk X's too. Yeah, tweet me, tweet me, or just text me. Um, so yeah, I mean, the big thing happened last episode. I mean, obviously, Beelight and Bruno, um, both of them were probably very drunk. And uh, Violetta, we definitely saw Clarice that night. It was not you, Violetta. It was Clarice, definitely. Bruno Mars, bye. My boy Bruno, man. Oh, man. I mean, was V was V saying some harsh things? Yes and no. But... In my opinion, Bruno definitely... You know, you, you know you're... You're my boy, Bruno, but he definitely crossed the line because um, he de he definitely crossed the line. I definitely didn't think he um, – apparently he knew about the anorexic situation, so um, using that against uh, Violetta was definitely wrong. And I'm glad they ended up making up at the end of the episode. But anyways, other storylines from that episode, uh, Jess and Jess and Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. How do you do it, bro? I, I, I need some advice. I, I, need, I need some tips from, from the man, you know? I mean, two, two weeks in our – for the last two weeks, you had your ex, your ex ex, and the girl you were hooking up with in the same house. And somehow you managed to make out with all of them and a bar local. You managed to make out with all of them and a bar local, and then you hook up with Jess. Like, man. I mean, I've been I've been tweeting some stuff that may have given you a bad time. Um, like I did tweet some stuff and be like, okay, you're, you're not, you're not, look, it's not looking good. Like he's doing all this, but at the same time, I guess he's technically single. So, um, you know what? D do what you got to do, man. Is it something I would do? Hook up with my ex and my excess ex ex if they were living in the same house? Hell no. But Hey. If you got it, you might as well use it, you know? <laughs> and the whole fight with Sylvie and Violetta. <laughs> that whole point of the fight and then uh and then uh, Sylvie just started laughing. It was it was hilarious. It was pretty hilarious, but anyways, um, let me hit up Morgan real quick and see if she wants to just do this through the phone. We can talk some access. Like I said, guys, if you're just tuning in, it looks like we're losing viewers by the second, but it's all good. If you guys are just tuning in, unfortunately, Tony couldn't make it. Um, we, we were having technical; he was having technical issues with his computer, but. I have no fear. I'm still here. I'm. I definitely want to keep talking because I haven't been on a month. Last time I had an interview was with Brittany after episode one. So hopefully I get. Hopefully I get something in next week, one or two. Colin Morgan, real quick, my cause. I don't think she's picking up. Hi, 
reach Morgan again, and please leave a message. All right, no big deal. Maybe she'll call back. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of out of breath now to tell you guys the truth. I wanted to tie X's too, but you know what? I'm, I'm actually probably going to do it tomorrow with your Audi radio. So be on the lookout for that. I'll, I'll, once again, I apologize for the, it not happening today. Hopefully it happens the next week. Hopefully I get a challenge you interview in next week or the week after. Um, yeah, I'm loving both seasons. And just because I'm not podcasting doesn't mean I'm not watching them. I'm definitely watching both. So please tweet me at CCU Carrick, the blog. I haven't done a blog in like forever, but the blog is bigtimerealitytv.blogspot.com. And yeah, so appreciate the, those of you who did tune in. And like I said, I appreciate all the questions you guys sent for Tony. But maybe, maybe he can answer them. I'm pretty sure he, he seems like a very, a very, uh, Um, oh god, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. That's good, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna head out and hopefully, I'll see you guys real soon.